Olá e sejam bem-vindos a mais um PS Point. Infelizmente não conseguimos o 2x0 na última final de semana. Então a gente tá aqui um pouco pra falar sobre os jogos e por que a gente não conseguiu demonstrar bons jogos nesse último final de semana, nessa última rodada. E nossas expectativas pro próximo final de semana, que é um final de semana bem decisivo. So the first question is for everyone. And fans wanna know, in por dentro do game, we saw that in the game against Red, Kaka was warning everybody about Sejuani. But even though she could gain can impact the, the whole game. So why did it happen? Was there a lack of confidence in Kaka's calls? And also the fact that, that even though Kaka was calling where Sejuani was, we could answer faster, especially Kaka could answer the place faster. So what happened in this game against Red? I could answer, but not like the way People are thinking like I can't play 2v2 because we don't win on mid or top. What I could do is we could, I could play for bot that time. I I should make better setup around bot that game. My situation oh. specifically I just throwed actually. I, I could do nothing. <laughs> nothing like special, I just played bad. I thought she, she would go for Scuttle first. But of course if I give that window she would just come so você achou que ele tava mentindo, né? Pra cá. É, é. Era que ele mentindo, né? Esse cara tá aqui. Ah, vamos ver. Vou descobrir pra vocês. A lot of people were saying like, ah, Joanne was a lot of time on top, so we could just go Drake or something like that, you know, but it's never that easy, so there are a lot of laws in game that we can't just break, so it was kind of hard for us to answer like we were saying on, on social media, things like that. Yeah, when Joanne was top, It was level 6, I knew he had a level advantage, but my lane was bad. I had, I had a staking wave top. Anyway, it was kind of a hard situation for us because I need cover to push the wave, but we can't win 2v2. So I had to make a, a better decision that time. Not make Kaka cover me, I should just play alone and make Kaka go the other side. But I made a bad decision, so after that everything snowballed, I think, since there. There's even one question only for you guys about that. So they are asking, apparently, Joanne was ganking you a lot, and they are asking, if, did it bother you? And what do you think you could have done to prevent this from happening? Enemy, actually, enemy top jungle champion was good to kill, good Your to make ship. a kill, you know, yes. instead of Fiora. So I had to be more think about it, how to prevent. But anyway, my first mistake was huge. And At the level 4, I tried to use flashboard to make a kill, but I, I failed it. So after that, it's that, like, that situation, like, everything was snowball. I think I should play really perfect that game. It's good that you guys talked about communication, because there's one question about that. So they are asking, on, like, Saturday game was really hard, and the communication started to get more chaotic after we get an advantage, like after B-Boy stole the Drake. So why did it happen? I think that game we, we get kind of confused because in the beginning we are ahead, but we make a lot of mistakes, so it was a bad game. Yeah, I think communication was a uh, consequence maybe, because we were ahead on the game and we couldn't uh, really no, snowball. No more change. So I think that time we hurry a bit to yeah. do something, then we, our communication was Find, uh, like getting hurried to, you know? Mm -hmm. but, uh, but actually, we are communicating like that on stage. Even when we are winning, we, when the game is fine, we're still talking like that. So we, we, should, we should improve that for sure. And since we are in the communication topic, do you guys think that many people talking at the same time can disturb you guys more than helping? For me, game should be like, not much talk, you know, like just, One call and no, yeah, don't have really it. important. Just yeah, 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 yeah. We have the main call. Like, huh? let's play for bot. Then we give information. Yeah, change it. Change it. Can't like scream. I don't think we need to scream. <laughs> so why, why you guys scream? Can, you, can I know? I don't scream. I remember them just saying. Uh, they tip you me, tip you me, tip you me. Then I die. <laughs> And I said, stop. Stop, stop screaming. screaming. <laughs> but, but it was my mistake. <laughs> Is our communication bad? And are we talking too much? 
Ah, é, tipo, eu falei pro cara, isso de depende do time também, tá ligado? Tem time que gosta de falar muito, tipo, tem uma comunicação assim, eu acho que existe a comunicação certa, mas existe a comunicação que funciona, tá ligado? Kinda since last year, we kinda had this communication, né? We're not that calm or that patient, you know? If you guys watch our communication from last year, even, Like of course that when we were winning and when we were like playing really well, it was kind of cleaner, you know, the communication. But everyone talks a lot, you know, especially on stage. You know, so why is it talks a lot on stage? Can I cut you, the kid? When you're winning, obviously, everything is better. 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 But I don't feel it's like uh, our problem. Huge problem. I don't feel. Problem. Yeah, I don't feel that's why we are making mistakes. That's why we are not playing well. Next question is for you, Dinkas. TF Twisted Fate hasn't been a priority pick this split, and it was your first game with the champion. But you didn't play well, even though we know you play really well with him. Uh, do you think? Um, You lacked a little bit of proactivity, and you could like do more plays, make new plays, and like if looking at the draft now, would you still go TF or would you change your pick to what? I saw some people saying I could put more or help wiser, but I don't feel that was the problem about the game. Like I really it was kind of everything was snowball from like my die and wiser die, so we didn't have much windows to help top. What I think could be better, as Kaka said, we could play for bot and then we could use my pressure too to help bot and we could uh, get more advantage on the other side. So I think so, of course, I could play better. But I think it was a good, good choice on this rep. I like the, mm -hmm. I, I like this, our... Comp? Yeah, okay. comp. Choice. It's not this word, but it can be. I like our comp and I think uh, since I have two or three items, like, we should have, we should have advantage. Especially on mid game, like we we were uh, back on the game uh, a bit because of TF2. So uh, I think I think it was a good 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 pick. We could play better, of course, and we could play, play better as a team too. So I don't think it's TF problem this time. Uh, actually, in scrims we have good results with TF. Of course, in stage is different because people respect more. People don't give too much ring, uh, windows to make plays. So you should use TF really well to become really impact. To have impact on the game, you know. So next time I will show better performance for sure. Tf five. Look, I'm going to show Tf. Tf do homem vira. 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 Look, Tf tem história para contar aí de uns anos já. Next question for everyone, but kinda more to Kaka and Damage. So people are saying like, in the few weeks, it looks like Pain played better when Kaka and Damage were playing. Thank you, champion. <laughs> <laughs> but it seems to, but the meta seems to allow a tough combination like Jax, Samumu, and Raka. That's what we did. Mobile this combo, team. Yeah. 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 Mobile yeah. Mobile so they are asking, like, if you can kind of create our own meta instead, instead of just accepting what is strong out there, you know, in the other major leagues, and kind of play what fits better our team. I don't think so. I don't think it's up to champion. I think actually when we try like join in the beginning of the CBL, we lose too. Yeah, so it's not thank you from Chukaka. The other? Chukaka is not thank you. The other guy. Acho que não tem nada a ver, mano. Sinceramente, eu gosto de jogar com outras coisas dando ser tank. Tipo, tank é um. sei lá, mano. Acho que não tem nada a ver. I prefer like to play strong champions. I don't wanna play like tank champions because They are weak now, so if I play tank champion, I will lose anyway. Mas é pior ainda que eu tinha. It's gonna be worse. Essa questão de de champion é é é bem difícil. Mas pô, se a gente pegar o paralelo do Kaká, o pessoal antes usava aquele ah, dá o dia pro Kaká, porque você vai campeão jogando de Zé, de Zé jogando de Zé. Só que aí depois era ele sim. E aí agora é tank. É, então tipo assim, a gente sempre vai jogar qualquer forte no meta. Todos os times do CBLO seguem isso. Óbvio que tem exceções, times que fogem um pouquinho e dá certo, mas times também que fogem um pouquinho e dá muito errado. A gente já teve exemplos desse CBL, sabe? Falando meio com uma falácia que esse, met, que esse patch era o, o, o patch dos tanques suporte por algum motivo, mas não era bem assim. 
é, não tem como a gente, sei lá, pegar Nautilus e tomar uma Ash suporte, sabe? Tipo assim, e jogar pelo bot, gankando bot, que eu ouvi muita gente falando, sabe? Vai ser um jogo muito difícil de se executar e se isso não é feito é porque isso já foi testado, sabe? Em treino ou lá fora mesmo, assim também. Então, existe sim uma linha tênue entre você só copiar o meta e você conseguir jogar com o que o seu time é bom, com o que você é confortável. A gente foi pra isso, como se for, quando a gente trouxe a Zayo Rakan, quando a gente apostou bastante em Azir, umas semanas atrás, sabe? Mas a gente não pode se prender só a isso. Até porque se vocês forem olhar os bans desses últimos jogos, os times meio que focaram nisso também, sabe? Então não tem como a gente ignorar a Lucianami, sabe? Que é um dos botlanes mais fortes no momento. A gente precisa jogar, se tiver aberto a gente vai jogar. Caso contrário, o outro time vai pegar e a gente não vai ter uma resposta boa, sabe? Então acaba sendo uma situação bem difícil. Então não tem muito como a gente só ignorar o um meta 100%, sabe? A gente vai jogar porque a gente gosta, gente. Em, em alguns casos, pô, o Jinkedo tinha um last pick contra a Red, a gente tinha várias opções. A gente optou pelo TF porque fazia sentido, a gente treinou e ele gosta, que a gente mesmo falar. Cara. Ou os picks do Eyes, ou coisa do tipo. Kaka, and they were talking about your picks, and they wanna know why Wukong is dead of Vi last game, since Vi is good against Zeri, against nice Red. Nice question. Can you answer, John? I can't yeah, why we choose We talked about that. Yeah, we talked about Because it. we knew that they would probably go with Fiora, because they played Fiora ah, on Saturday, said, and yeah. I even talked to Kaka, and he said, we said that Wukong would be better in the game against Fiora than Vi, you know? Vi kinda didn't do anything of her. Hey. So that's why we went for true. And now, last question. B-Boy, what do you think is missing for you and Damage become one of the best CB low bot laners? So he's saying that's bad. not even For what? me, we are not <laughs> same page yet. Uh, that's the most problem. And Damage, he don't, I mean, he don't know how to hit minions. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I lose. I, I knew know. it. <laughs> that's a huge problem. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. I That's that. probably the most bro. For me, you guys are the best. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> For me, I think we need to know how snowball well, you know. I feel like sometimes we get advantage, but we don't know how to use this advantage, you know. I think it's the most important, I feel. E esse foi o fim de mais um Pense Point. Ah. Ah. Espero que vocês tenham gostado. Espero que a gente tenha conseguido esclarecer um pouco sobre esses últimos dois jogos do, do final de semana. E para essa próxima rodada agora a gente tem dois, dois, duas partidas muito importantes que vão decidir bastante o nosso futuro aí no CBLOL. E a gente tá bem confiante, eu sei que apesar de a gente não ter conseguido convencer no, no stage, a gente tá trabalhando muito todo dia, conversando bastante, treinando bastante. E eu particularmente tô bem confiante também com, com o andamento do, do nosso time, desde o começo até agora a gente consegue uma evolução maior, uma coesão melhor. E principalmente, eu sinto que a gente tá muito empenhado em conseguir é, fazer acontecer. Então é isso que me orgulha no dia a dia e isso que me faz acreditar tanto nesse grupo. Concordo? Concordo, concordo. A gente tá treinando bastante. É, eu sei que a galera tá, tá meio assim, porque a gente anda tropeçando bastante no CBLOL, mas eu acredito muito no potencial do nosso time. É, eu tô vendo que tá todo mundo se dedicando muito, a gente tá saindo tá de off porque a gente tá treinando, a gente tá, a gente tá buscando. É, só falta a gente chegar no CBLOL com mais calma, tá ligado? Mais calma pra para fazer nossas plays e que vai dar certo e eu sei que vai dar bom. Mas que a gente ainda não tenha mostrado, a gente sabe que se a gente jogar o que a gente sabe, o que a gente tem, nenhum gente time, é nenhum time bate de frente. Muito mais forte do que os outros, então a gente tá confiante, vocês também tem que estar. Beleza? Tamo junto, é nóis. Então, nós. Tchau, até amanhã.